Early on, Brent Bennett sends it in. It's off goalie Russell Payne to Nathan Fairchild. He sends it back in the middle. And finally, McSorley taps it in already. JMU goes up one to nothing, and it's still early in the game. Now Madison will go back on the attack. Now you make the call. Bennett and RT Moore get tangled up, and the foul is called. Terps coach Sasha Sarovsky doesn't like the call, but despite being sidelined with an injured hamstring, our own Brent Bennett leads the CAA in scoring with 25 points on 10 goals and 5 assists. JMU also has four other players in the top 20. All right, the Dukes draw first blood in this contest. Check out the shot from Nathan Fairchild as he slices it to the upper left corner. The Dukes jump out first, 1 0. If you check it out again in slow motion, you'll see the tribe play Scott Grafer doesn't even react to the shot. Not really sure what he was thinking. Now, William and Mary from the corner, and you're about to see some phenomenal work by Barry Purcell in the goal. He makes one save right here by knocking it away, but the tribe maintain possession and line up for another attack, but Purcell knocks it out once again. Soon enough though, Brett Bennett's gonna break away and he's gonna capitalize on this one. It's two to nothing Dukes. If you check out the slow motion on this one, you'll see Bennett just slips it past the diving Grafer and it trickles on into the corner. However, the Tribes strike back almost immediately. Down on the other end, Andrew Petty fires one past the diving Purcell and now it's two to one. A fired up Petty goes high five into the William & Mary bench while the 2,900 plus in attendance are pretty excited. The scoring would remain the same the rest of the half thanks to some great goal work from Purcell. Watch the slide, beautiful. He had a great effort in the goal in place of Brian Bailey. First half and two to one. Second half was physical. Watch number 10 Steve Jolly flatten Carlo Kankinen. And if that's not enough, watch him take down Nathan Fairchild. The Dukes are getting angry here, and if you watch it again, you'll see an actual leg whip from Jolly. Not nice. Now this Jolly guy may seem like quite a jerk, but he does have some talent. Check this out. <laughs> wow. But now check out Steve Scott Ritter as he stepped on Brett Bennett. Bennett is a little angry, and I can't say that I blame him. And finally, here's a nice give and go. Honeyset to Kankinen, who sends it right back to Honeyset who knocks over Grafer and knocks in the third goal. Your Dukes win and a much happier Brett Bennett joins in the celebration. Thrilling 3-1 victory for the Dukes in a game where they were outshot by the Tribe 15-12. The stands were packed with freezing fans despite the frigid conditions. Coaches Tom Martin and John Rennie look on as their work is put to the test. Early in the action, Mark Matthewson driving, but he's taken down by Duke goalie Garth Lagerway. And here Carlo Kankinen is tripped up by the end line, and he's not pleased. But now Jeff Honeyset to Matthewson, who pops it past a charging Lagerway, but no goal. The ref says he was offsides, and the fans don't like it. But don't panic, the Dukes come storming back.
only seven minutes later, again, Purcell denies friends from close range shot. 19 minutes left, Nathan Fairchild finally nets the Duke's first goal. Take a look, Mark Miles with the cross, and just a brilliant effort by Nathan Fairchild. There's the JMU Dukes up on the hill, but they won't have a whole lot to cheer about after this. championship from Bush Field on the campus of William & Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia, as the William & Mary Tribe take on the James Madison Dukes. El Swords in the corner, surveys, approaches, tries to get the cross off, Steve Jolly blocked it. James Madison, another opportunity, Michael Bono sweeps it away. Now the aforementioned Nathan Fairchild, he'll send this one, it's in the net! A complete breakdown by William and Mary's defense. They, they ball came out, it was just free at the top of the box. Fairchild coming forward, struck it, and Grafer never moved. Unbelievable, Nathan Fairchild with a thunderous shot from 30 yards out has put the James Madison Dukes up 1-0. A critical goal because now Madison has got the lead and William and Mary can't be content to sit back and defend. We're looking at it now. Coming across, taking the shot as Fairchild hitting it, and Grafer never reacts. I don't think he saw it. I think it was in the sun where he was screened by the shot. A brilliant goal by Fairchild. Watching it again, driving it with a right-footed in-step drive. Goes in the back of the net, 
Grafer is either screened or can't see the ball coming out of the sun, and it's 1-0 Madison. Service coming forward, and they've really tested the Dukes in the back. Back to you, said just a freshman. He's from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. As he checks into the match, and you can't miss him. He's almost on the ball now, number 22. Chris Norris at the back. We're getting around his Brett Bennett. Grafer's out, bent at the shot. It's in the net. It's in the net. A goal for the James Madison Dukes. Tremendous play by Brett Bennett. We talked about him at the top of the show, how he had to come through today, and indeed he did. He showed his extraordinary quickness. Norris came out for the ball, didn't quite get it. Bennett picked it away, and with a poise of an established veteran, the All-American that he is, put the ball into the back of that pass. Great for coming out. We're, we're watching it now. Bennett jumps on the back pass. Norris doesn't get there. Bennett takes time to look with poise, slips it under Grafer, into the back of that. It's 2-0 Madison, and this really changes the game. Once again, a lot of composure, and it's a good lesson for players to, to observe. Carlo Conkinen for James Madison as they work into the sunshine. He's got Honeyset cutting far post. He looks for Honeyset. Honeyset comes knifing through. It's in the net. It's in the net. A goal for the James Madison Dukes. Very, very important counterattacking goal. A terrific ball crossed in there by Konkinen. Rafer came out, but not as aggressively as he should have. We're watching Konkinen drive that ball. Honey set in on it. Rafer looks like he has it, and just a little touch by Honey set. And the ball rolls into the back of the net. Rafer needed to come out more aggressively on that ball, and he doesn't. And it's, he's going to pay for it. Here's Honey set just getting that foot on it before Rafer can get there. I think Rafer thought he had it. He didn't. Little animal. The James Madison Dukes three. The William Mary Tribe one. The Dukes are the CAA champions. We're coming back.
by Mark Matthewson and assist by Brett Bennett. Uh, ten minutes period, nobody can get to him. Ten minutes, all right. Hmm. Mm. 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 Mm
people didn't expect that, you know, and I'm just kind of numb right now. Once we got on top, we were able to play with a little more confidence. Um, you know, a lot of times the game is real tentative. Before somebody scores a goal, everybody's really worried about, you know, uh, playing defense and not giving up a goal. So I think once we got the first goal, uh, we were able to play more of our game and kind of be more composed. We definitely have confidence, and I think we're playing some of the best soccer we've played all year. So um, we're definitely going to be ready for whoever we have to play next. I think the uh, pace of the game was maybe too much for, for James Madison today, and they, they wore down. And I think you could see that in the last 15 minutes of the first half, and, and it went on into the second half. I think uh, we put them under a lot of pressure, and they broke down. I think the thing when you play Virginia for anyone always is that you're going to get some chances, but you must finish them. And, and we had some, especially early on in, in, in a game, and we did not. And, then we were back on our heels being behind the whole game and having to gamble and take some chances. And that's not the team you want to take chances against.